listening to Ronnie's sex life from the wrap-up show. Oh, dear. Yeah, Ronnie letting a few family secrets out. Really? I think he was implying he fingered his cousin when he was six or something. Uh, you know see. what? With the things that have come out of him lately, I'm not surprised. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I'll give you some Ronnie stuff from the wrap-up show, and then we can comment on it. Do you think it's strange that people find it odd that you're tweeting about how hot your daughter-in-law is? No, dude, I, all I said, I went to see my hot daughter-in-law in the hospital right, and check okay. out the hot nurses. Okay. And so put I, on fresh mambo. Okay, I can... I can what, what is so terrible? Right. I can dissect that into three parts. It's completely normal. First of all, it's yeah. odd that you're, um, you think your daughter-in-law is hot, even if she is. Which she is, but that's... Why, why is that odd? Because uh, she's your daughter-in-law. So what? But she's still hot. Yeah, but it's just... It's, I find that odd. The second thing is, <laughs> should you really be trolling the hospitals at 4 in the morning looking at hot it nurses? It wasn't 4 in the morning, dude. It was it was 8 o'clock last night. Oh, okay. But is that the only reason you went there? To look at the nurses? No, to visit my hot daughter-in-law. If your hot daughter-in-law worked with a bunch of garbage men, would you go to visit her as often? No. Come on. It's, no, no, no. It's I a mean, joke. That's what, I mean, no, no, I agree with you. Oh, everybody see, takes a goddamn... I don't, goddamn, I, I don't think it's a big deal And how it's busting my fucking balls. He's down there with, with his babysitters and shit, watching babysitter porn. That's normal? It's not... Well, you know it's not his babysitters, right? <laughs> yeah, whatever, dude. It's, <laughs> it's the same thing as me making the comment, I have a hot daughter-in-law. What's the big fucking deal? No, because one's all, fantasy and one's reality. Yeah, but still... One thing I've noticed about Ronnie... He always brings me up about what I'm doing. Whenever someone everything is in comparison to you. Yeah, nobody else. You always hear when Howard, does, but Howard does this and Howard does that. And first of all, I watch porno. It's not my. Ba- I'm not it's saying not your sister. Well, it's also me not saying, uh, "Gee, my kid's babysitter came over and I'm really hot for her." Like certain things, you just don't go there, you know. But and, I mean, still, there might yeah. not be a relationship, right? A familial relationship between you and the babysitter, but that hasn't even happened. He's going way off the charts, just He's, talking about porn. No, his hot daughter-in-law. No, I'm talking about with you. Yeah. He's saying Howard watches babysitter porn. You're looking at your daughter-in-law. <laughs> well, anyway, so then. I guess one thing led to another, and they got into Ronnie's sex life. Have you ever had uh, sex with any of your cousins or other family members or anything like that? <laughs> no, I'm not from uh, North Carolina or Georgia or anything like that. I'm from New York. <laughs> yeah, see, that, that's such an arrogant, easy joke to make, you know, because you don't have the mind to make an adequate joke back. I just asked you a question. I didn't say there was anything wrong with it. I gave you an adequate <laughs> answer. No, I, di- no I haven't, okay? Wait, Ron, I thought you told me that story that you said it was cool to talk about on the air. Have you considered it, Ronnie? I didn't fuck my cousin, stupid. Have you thought about but, it? But the, the, the question <laughs> yeah, is... Yeah, okay, <laughs> Benji, yeah, all right. <laughs> you do not want to talk about it? or Because you told me it was cool to talk about. It was a long time ago. All right. <laughs> great, let's hear it, Ronnie. We got plenty of time left. I think right, it's a great Ronnie? story. I was like eight years old, nine years old, whatever it was. What's the big deal? And what happened? I thought Benji was just busting your balls. He's got a real story. I don't know. I, I shouldn't go into it. All right. <laughs> you know that sounds way about, worse. By exactly, the way, exactly. Than what it actually is covering it up makes it right sound now. Right now, I have visions of a creepy eight-year-old running around molesting. <laughs> I, I, no, I wasn't molesting anybody, dude. <laughs> where are you go? Where are you guys going? I was having this? a good time. Yeah, I, I sent it to everyone. I Lotus, and I asked maybe, Ronnie, "Is it maybe cool?" Nine. I don't know. Wait, you were having a good time. I was at, having a good time. Actually, nine. What yeah, I kind of, I kind of remember. I was having a good time. Well, what happened exactly? I don't know. I, don't I mean, talk, talk in vague terms if you if you need to make it more comfortable for yourself. It's worth saying nothing. Let's say I just used a finger on somebody. How's that? Oh. <laughs> when you were nine? Can you get a boner at nine? <laughs> yeah. You get a boner as a fetus. And she was related to you. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> well, first cousin is yeah, related. You, can get a, you can't get a boner at nine? No, no. I mean, can you get one from, from sex? I mean, kids get boners. Uh... Dude, I, I used to have this girl come up to my house. <laughs> she was like, t- I was nine, she was ten. And we used to, like, make out on the couch because my parents worked and they weren't home. We used to spend the whole afternoon, a lot of times after school, up in my house, <laughs> laying on the couch, making out, and like grinding at nine and ten years old, dude. Good lord, that's cool shit. Yeah, Ronnie's very sexual. Good lord, you don't realize what sexual dynamite. You know you what? Have. I used to think so much better of him when he never spoke. Yeah, well, I told him. What did I tell him when I brought him up here to be the bodyguard? Be quiet. I said, just stand in the hall and act like a wooden Indian. But he can't do it. <laughs> he can't do it. He's got to <laughs> let it out. He's got to tell us yeah. who he is. Yeah, he sure does uh, here. Yeah, he's a very romantic guy. Listen, he's got a whole bunch of sex stories. I was like 16. 
my mother used to have these mahjong games in her house. <laughs> and uh, this, this woman that lived across the street, like up the block and across the street, we lived in this garden apartment development, and she had two kids. So she couldn't get a babysitter one night. I wasn't doing anything. So my mother said to me, could you go over and watch so-and-so's kids for her? Said, Imagine yeah. Ronnie's your babysitter, Mr. Sensitive. Well, all right, but that's... People didn't care who they left their kids with <laughs> at one time. Back in the day, you'd leave your kids <laughs> with Charles Manson. <laughs> They'd leave them on the street. Right. Why not? So I'll go over there and watch TV. Went over there and watched TV. The margin game was over. She came back to the house and was sitting there. We're talking. And I was sitting on the couch. The next thing I know, we're making out. <laughs> and did you make the move? Did she make the move? Do you remember? It was kind of mutual because the way she was sitting on the couch with me was like, you know, she was really like coming on, you know, like sitting next to me real close and shit like that. <laughs> and she st you know, started telling me, oh, my husband works nights and he's never home and this, that and the other thing. And we're not getting along great and this whole deal. And next thing you know, we're making out and we're laying on the couch grinding each other. And <laughs> I got my finger in her and Whoa. she jerked me off and I went home. And how old was he then? 16. Ronnie. And this is his mom's friend. Yeah. Very sexual guy, Ronnie. Wow. Yeah, it's like um, The Graduate. Except, he? Except Ronnie didn't graduate. Summer yeah. of 42. <laughs> <laughs> Remember The Graduate when he comes yeah. home from college? Yeah. Gets Mrs. Robinson. In this story, the guy comes home from his bread route and uh, gets Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> yeah, Ronnie's a very sexual guy. You know, like, I mean, I talk to women like yourself and other women who, uh, you know, are ladies, and they're like, Ronnie? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I go, yeah, he's a ladies' man, you know, with a certain... Well, he's a throwback, and yeah. there are women who are very much... He's a throwback. <laughs> he's called Manga. <laughs> I'm Neanderthal. You very talk much... about babysitters, why can't I? <laughs> oh, turned on by that uh, element. Yeah. Ronnie looks like he can take care of himself in a fight. Ronnie was twittering again yesterday, and this one we don't even know what it means. <laughs> Jason said to me, can you figure out what this means? Waiting for boss, that's me. Yes. Waiting for boss, thinking about Charlie Sheen can't replace a one-of-a-kind think about a new show, 4 to 9 p.m. on Mondays, one-of-a-kind just like me, oh. LFSW. Oh, I see what he's saying. He's saying he's, Charlie Sheen can't be replaced. He's in the car waiting for me. Yeah, he watch, I know he's a big two-and-a-half-man guy. He loves it. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's saying, in his opinion, Charlie Sheen can't be replaced. Right. And uh, think about a new show, 4 to 9 p.m. So they have to go out and find a new show. Right. That's what he's saying. He's, he's sitting in his car, and he's being Les Moonves. He's trying to tell CBS right. what they need to do. Right. I think Les Moonves follows Ronnie. So. <laughs> Gets all his best ideas. Yeah. I wonder what time he tweeted that. Doesn't say. Just wondering where I was, that he was waiting for me. I was probably over at the Apple store. I went over and bought every bit of fuck. I think I emptied out the Apple store. Yeah. Do you know what LFSW stands for? What's LFSW? Let's fuck some whores. Oh, oh wow. He has his Ronnie own speak. abbreviation. I've got Ronnie Bonnix. Now I'm really getting into this LFSW. Twitter. LFSW. Oh, LFSW. Well, if I, if, Any real fan knows. If I don't tweet, they get pissed off. Right. And like, what do they do? Nothing. You know what? I'm done with tweeting. I'm, I'm officially retiring. I was really enjoying it and stuff. I wake up this morning, right? I woke up at like, again, 1.30 in the morning, couldn't get back to sleep. I talked to my psychiatrist about it. He worked through it with me, this and that, you know. And What's, what's waking you up? I'm impatient. I, I, I get up to pee, but then I lay in bed and I'm, I want everything. I, like, I went out and got all this new Mac equipment, uh -huh. and I had to set it up right away, and I'm trying to learn everything right away. It, it becomes the most important thing in my life. I obsess on it. <laughs> So what happens is he figured out you okay, Ronnie? Who's, oh, that's Ronnie. <clears throat> you need a woman's <laughs> pussy juice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's coughing. He's a mess. It's cold. Anyway, uh, you come in here. You okay? <laughs> so I'm. Um, I don't know. So like, I, I, so I went to uh, you know, so I went to the Apple store. And I switched everything over to Apple. And now I'm, like, going crazy because I love the equipment. It looks cool. It yeah, Apple it. has a cool look. Yeah, but I can't figure out certain things that used to be very easy to do on my Windows equipment. Mm -hmm. So now I'm like, you know, oh, I want to learn everything at once. And this doesn't work the right way. And, uh, and I'm crazy. And I don't know how to bring up a picture. And, uh, you know, and I get nuts. I get crazy. And then 
I lay in bed and I want to do everything. You know, I want to I want to be reading a book, reading a magazine, be on my computer. And my my psychiatrist was explaining to me that you know you have to learn to be patient and that you can't drive yourself crazy. You can't. The whole idea is the journey's the good time. Yeah, I didn't know that. Not the destination. Well, that yeah. So he worked on that with me, and then we got into, of course, you know, my relationship with my parents. It always comes back to all that. Mm. So you know, heavy stuff. Anyway, don't tell them that it's about them. Don't. Oh my mother! Oh my mother is like. <laughs> don't my mention mother that is to him. So <laughs> She's like. <laughs> Yeah, you went to the, what is that, the psychiatrist? <laughs> Where do you go? Psychiatrist? Yeah, I go to a psychiatrist. Oh, yeah, what does he have to say about it? Really? You need that? There's something wrong? Well, you know, I have some issues. Issues you have? Yeah. What, uh, what you talk about me? <laughs> I go, sometimes you come up. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm so terrible, right? I'm so horrible. I did such a horrible job. No, I didn't say you did a horrible job. Yeah. What are you doing in there with him? What are you, 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 need, you, you don't need a psychiatrist, believe me. You, need, you got too much time on your hands with a psychiatrist. Big waste of time. Talk to me. <laughs> you don't understand. So, yeah, you could right. be cured already. <laughs> yeah, she could cure me. <laughs> so anyway, um, I, I got all this Apple equipment. I'll tell you about that later. But I wake up this morning. We're talking about Twitter. Yeah. I wake up this morning, one thirty. Uh, so I, I get sucked in, and I go down to see if I can check my email. And even the email used to always come through during the night. Now, when you take the Apple out of suspend mode, then your email finally comes through. And it's oh, like, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't just come. No. I, I got all upset about that, and I'm yeah. upset. So I said, oh, let me check my Twitter account, because I haven't been on it for a while. I, you know, put it on. The first tweet I read. <laughs> Right, isn't it? The everybody, guy goes, everybody hates you right away, right? Well, yeah, yeah, the guy, uh, now, mind you, I haven't been on. It's too much contact. The guy goes, just seems to me you're going through the motions with the show. Now, I mean, my, mind you, I spent all day yesterday here planning, plotting for the show. Yeah, high-level meetings. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm bringing everyone into meetings. I'm working on the show. I, I, I'm up at 1 in the morning working on the show, the show, the show, the show. First thing I read, you know... It just seems to me you're going through the motions, and you're really not. Why don't you put some energy into the show? You know, and I was like, "Who is this? Who is this fucking piece of shit?" Like, all right, if you don't like the show, don't you know? Don't subscribe. Don't listen. Leave. I brought that up to my psychiatrist. That these haters, you know, and he just said, "Well, they're just jealous." I go, "Well, maybe I just suck." He goes, "Well, did you get any nicey with Twitter?" So I go, "Yeah, everyone was Tons. like, hey, show's never been better. It's great." Blah blah blah. He goes, "Well, what about those?" And what about your own opinion? What do you think of the show? I go, I think the show's great. And he goes, uh, well, we'll fucking hold on to that. <laughs> I'm like, I can't. It's always the one guy. What'd you get on the Twitter? I get a lot of hate shit. But actually, this morning, the tweet I put out, yeah, the one with the Charlie Sheen thing, yeah, you know, you can't replace Charlie Sheen you right. know, and all that. And, he, you know, they might as well think of a new show for Monday night at 9 o'clock. Right. And he's a one of a kind, just like me. So right. all of a sudden, mm -hmm. I get tweets just now. It's like, uh, yeah, you're right. You should have a show. All, this kind of, <laughs> all of a sudden, now it's positive shit. Because you were negative. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. most of the time, it's all negative. Like the shit I put, you know, with the if I'm going to visit my daughter-in-law in the hospital. Right. Oh, my God, the shit I caught for that. Right. <laughs> I'm, a fucking, like I'm a fucking pervert. I'm this, I'm that. I'm creepy. Do you I'm like an being, asshole. Do you like being on Twitter? It's all right, dude. Yeah. I mean, it's it's fun. Man. You know, once in a while I go on. I don't go on all the time. Met any chicks on there? Some chick sent me a picture of her tits the other day. Right. And she wanted to, uh, um, to get a try out at Rick's. Yeah, you're going to let her go Do, over was there? she any good? I don't know. I don't even know where she's from. You know. You have to hit her back and get a little dialogue Yeah, I know, yeah. It's, you know, it's a whole thing. Yeah, it's a whole... It's like, well, hey, how were the... Oh, how were the... the how were the tits? The tits were nice. Yeah. I don't even know if it's a... You know, you don't even know really it if it's a, a girl guy. or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know. It's don't get started. It's a bunch of... No, I'm not. Believe me, Believe if me. she wants to get uh, a job at Rick's, she'll with go With tits like there. that, she could have got a job with no problem. She yeah, how hard... She doesn't need a try at Rick's. How, how, how hard is it to audition? Meanwhile, I mentioned on the air yesterday how hot that picture of Adrian Curry was that she tweeted, you know, where she was in an apron and her ass is just sticking out. Yeah. So she wrote on her Twitter, gee, thank you, Howard Stern, for, you know, saying that. So she like, doubled her amount of viewers and stuff. So uh, I wrote her back. I go, think nothing of it, blah, blah, blah. So then I go on her Twitter page because I want to see all her pictures. Uh -huh. 
But there's nowhere to go to see all of her pictures. You know what I mean? Like, you can only, you have to find the link. It's not like Facebook. No. So I found like three of them. Jesus Christ, what she's doing on that Twitter. What is she up to? What are the other pictures like? Sometimes they're just so, I think she's super hot. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think she's got a great ass. Oh, my God. Just shots of her ass and her. It's like my daughter-in-law. Right. Oh. oh, and then like she, and then like she was talking about she was dieting, so for four days she didn't eat any carbs, and she's showing her stomach. Everything's like naked, and, and then there's one picture she has with her, like in a like a, it's like Egyptian or something. It's a bunch of girls all laying around, almost naked. Everything's naked. She loves being naked. I'm like, fuck, this is. I, I'm following her now. Well, that's like you nothing know, wrong with that. No. Her life, I'm sure, is that because she went out to Hollywood to be famous. Yeah, I tell you. But what is she actually doing? Is she actually doing anything? Look, she was she won America's Top Model, and no offense, I, I think she's a hot chick and everything. Right. But no girl who's ever won America's Top Model has ever gone on with a real is legitimate a top model. Right. In other words, top models don't need to go on America's Top Model. They always have something wrong with them. Their face is a little busted or something. They d- they're not real models, and they're never going to be real models. Real models start working when they're... Mm. Like, like my, my wife was a working model. She started working when she was nine, and then she went and uh, she she left college. She was getting so much work. She wouldn't have had time for Top Model. Yeah, yeah in other yeah, words, right. you know, she was actually working. <laughs> she was actually making money. She, you know, top model is for women who never can get a modeling career. Right. And but, there's a reason they can't get a But what is she actually, career. is she doing anything now? I don't know. Sure. I'll tell you what. She's a fucking sexy woman. Well, you thought that when we met her. Yeah, she's sexy. I mean, she loves to be naked and show pictures of her ass. I mean, <laughs> some girls love to show it off, man. And it's great. sex God. goddesses. They love it. There's demure women and then there's women who just, there's no in between sometimes. It's fucking crazy. What would be the in between? I don't know. <laughs> but my God, that girl loves to, and then she just takes picture after picture of herself, and I'm like, this is a good tweet. Now, now then there's a, there's a Twitter it. account I could follow. Now, if she had seven million <laughs> followers, I'd understand. But some people I see they got Twitter followers. I'm like, well, who the hell's following them? They're not posting anything interesting. I'm up to twenty thousand. Are you? Yeah. Look at you. Yeah. You could overthrow Egypt with those kind yeah, of Yeah, look at that. 20,000. Yeah. What are you going to do? I figured I'd have 200 at the most. Yeah. What are you going to do uh, with that? <laughs> with the, you got <laughs> now, now there's pressure. You got to put out tweets. I do once in a while. Yeah. You know, like this morning. You I, shouldn't well, I was waiting for you to come out. I put that, that out. Yeah. You did? Yeah. I saw a tweet last night. Uh, Baba Booey lost a vote. You know, this, Wait is a minute, the cra- what happened? this is the craziest thing. For those of you who don't know, Baba Booey is running for a. a He's not even running. He, it's an appointment, and they have to... Approve him. Yeah. On a town board where it's parks and recreation type stuff. Well, Baba Booey wasn't even looking to do it, but they asked him to volunteer. They can't get anyone from the community to do it. So they vote on him, and some woman is all crabby about him because he works on the Howard Stern show, and all of a sudden now he's in a controversy that he doesn't want to be in. And you know Gary. Gary's just a good dude, man. Now it's a dog fight. Yeah. Now that I saw Steve, um, we have a Twitter feed called Howard 100 News or something like that. And it said on the Twitter feed from from Steve Langford that Gary lost a vote last night. What? Is that true? That is true. You oh. lost the vote. Yeah, but it's not, it's not the vote to get in. What is it? This, again, I was telling you that there's two <laughs> votes that are, that are um, advisory. Meaning, I could have lost the first vote, 0 to 12. I could lose last night, 0 to 12. And then Monday's the real vote. Right. The actual vote. Right. So yeah, last so night was... What did you lose? The, the Parks and uh, Recreation Advisory Committee. I lost five, uh, 7 to 5. They wrote, <laughs> they wrote no. I don't... I'm, I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm not understanding for some reason. Okay, so there's... Okay, there's an appointments board. Okay. Right? You go in front of that, but it's advisory. Meaning, they're saying to the people who are eventually going to vote... Here's what we think. Here's what we think. Then the Parks and Rec Board, it's the same thing. The, the Parks and Rec Board is saying last night, here's what we think. Right. But it's got to go. So the Parks and Rec Board thought that you shouldn't be. Aven- but, but not the board said, I'm going to sit on. This is, right. I t- it's very hard to the explain. The advisory board is saying we feel he's right. not a good candidate. It's right. almost like when a bill comes out of committee. The committee wow. says, you know, we don't <laughs> think this bill is all that great. So how do you think that happened? Well, you should have been there. Oh, <laughs> well, what well, I mean, how, how do I think? I'm. I mean, what is going on? They asked me a lot of, okay, it's parks and recreation. So right. there's a lot, everyone's got a lot of different uh, agendas. Mm. So there's a lot of people who, I, I, my strength is in fields because I know what fields we use and what we need. And 
I think what a lot of people were saying last night, that they're more concerned with things like open fields and trails and the beaches, and that since I, my strengths weren't there. Oh, my God. That I'm they, not really. They, they, the they're people. really scrutinizing him. Yeah. Do you think right. they pay attention to I, who comes can before I say that board? All right. This is what I say. This is what I found. <laughs> no. I, I, the irony I found last evening was that they, everybody on the board had a different agenda. Right. Somebody's just about the trails. Somebody's just about the beaches. <laughs> Yet they want somebody to be on the board who has no you, agenda. Can't you study open fields if that's your weakness? I could, and yeah. I have. Right. I've actually, I actually have. Right. And, um, and so I think some people were, were utilizing that to – and then they, a couple of people brought up. They said, hey, I think you're, you seem like a really good guy. I think you'd make a great candidate. i got to tell you that my problem is I'm afraid that every time there's a meeting, it's going to be discussed on the show. And I and I said to them, "Oh my God, that's crazy! We don't care. Like, what would we care about and I said those to, board meetings?" I said, "I said, here's what's going on. Yeah. I came before the first board. It was in the newspaper, right? So we covered what was in the newspaper. I said, once we get to the nuts and bolts of what's going on, I guarantee you that the people I work with will be oh bored with it. It's like you're actually begging them for yeah. this, position. but I'm not. I, you I, should I, say, you know, Gary, why don't you tell them to go fuck off? Yeah, yeah, right. You know what, Gary? Turn to him. Just say, listen." I don't need this aggravation. You guys asked me to volunteer for this. You find need to, somebody find else. Find someone else. God love you. Who loves the community yeah. and wants to participate. Yeah. I just Leave wanna, me alone. I just want to live here in peace and quiet. They're looking for a person who understands. This, this is what, what I think. They're looking for a person who understands uh, turf fields versus grass fields, <laughs> botany, erosion of trails, and uh, and the beaches uh, to work for free, by the <laughs> and way. And how many of them, by the way, understand are there? That? Yeah, let me tell you. But everyone understands their own little thing, right? But here's what I understand: they're all fucking insane. You're telling me everybody else on this Parks and Recreation Board who's sitting there now knows about open trails as opposed to fields? No, I don't know. I don't know the answer. <laughs> but anyway, I go in front. Of, I go in front of the big vote on Monday. Oh, I, I, I I am considering not running, but probably not. Uh, you know what? You want my advice? Yeah. Why don't you just say to them, listen, you guys, uh, th this is causing too much of an uproar. I'm not looking for this Well, job. you know what is, what is sad? I because was... I feel that Gary is Gary's now in that position mm. yeah. of something that has nothing to do with what he's going to be doing right. is overshadowing this appointment. Gary is being disparaged. Was the woman with the bag of shit there? Uh, she was because at, at, every one she goes to. Oh, she's having a ball. Well, what happens is after. You know she has no life if she's going to every one of these meetings. They ask me a bunch of questions, and everybody right. that people can raise their hand and get up and speak, they have three minutes. So a guy I coach with who's a great guy got up and talked about what an asset I'd be. Another guy who knows me got up and said what an asset I'd be. So I was like, oh, this is going well. Right. Then also and she, that, stood that she stood up. She stood up, and she was, you know, she just was, she, you know. What did she say? She talked about how he she threw baloney. No, 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 no. Oh. They didn't get into that. That's that's sort of old hat now because oh, they have new things. Got to have new stuff. She got every into time. that you're not qualified. No, she got into that the way that she was talked about on the radio. People shouldn't be talked about that way. That people shouldn't be bullied. <laughs> well, maybe she shouldn't be bullying you. Maybe she shouldn't be talking about you that way. But again, Gary's I, about to become the only person who has never been approved. That is true, Robin. <laughs> right. I mean, oh, oh, she shouldn't be talked about on the radio. She she's causing. Or in a way, she didn't like the way she was discussed. Yeah. Well, so too bad. now we have to discuss her in the way she likes. Yeah. What way would that be? I'm sure it's very interesting. I think without uh, without curse words. Well, fuck her. <laughs> Maybe she shouldn't put shit in her mailbox. Right. Well, she didn't. She didn't. Nobody's <laughs> accusing no anybody accusing of anything. I, I'm not not accusing. <laughs> yes, you are, but you can't do that. Let her fuck herself. Right. Oh. <laughs> you really want this position, huh? I really, I, I got to tell you, I really don't care. Right. I, I, my feeling is, I just again, I'm, like... I'm, I'm here to volunteer. If you, all those things that I talked about, if you put an ad in the paper and said you were paying someone sixty grand a year, I don't think you can find somebody qualified that can, knows all those different right. things. You know what's lovely about you? you you're really a lovely guy. I, I've, I said this about Gary, all jokes aside. This is a great guy and a guy who actually would put his energy into this mm -hmm. thing. And it's, it's, it's such a crazy fucking world we live in. This is exactly what the problems are in the world. You've got nudniks and nonsense people who don't, you know, they're low brain power. Right. And, and a lot of them don't have to do anything. For for life or living or this and that, and, and they, they get focus. something like this, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, I could be well in it's, charge. It's like it's just yeah, exactly. It's just like these, you know, these nutty politicians who get into uh, you know, the abortion, and uh, they, they really have no business being involved in it. Or they get into uh, social issues. They comment on gay gays, marriage. gay marriage. 
They're, it's nonsense. They need someone in the community who would be devoted to this to, to, to sit on a board. They can't find anyone to do it, mind you. Well, that's, what, that's part of what they were saying, that they, that they haven't found anybody. Yeah. And so they're going to go, you know, they, I mean, they want to look for other people. Right. You know, dude, talking about what you're talking about, just get off for a second. Did you see that, that comment that Mike Huckabee made about... Um, uh, uh, Obama? No. No, Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. Yeah. That, 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 that's that's hurting him. That's a perfect example. That's hurting him. Well, thank God, because it's a perfect example. Mike Huckabee is involved in trivia. He, the guy's talking about being a president of the United States. He's commenting on Natalie Minutia. Portman. Minutia. Yeah, I would not... Newt Gingrich now. I saw him. He's thinking of running for president. He's commenting on morality. He's become a <laughs> Christian. <laughs> And when? here's a guy who has done things to people in their personal lives that is unbelievable. How many marriages has he had so far? Three. Three. And, uh, you know, one of them, he, 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 he went to work out the divorce while the woman was on chemotherapy or something crazy like well, that. Well, she had just awakened yeah. from surgery or something, and he asked for a divorce. People are nuts. This is, a cra this is the crazy, craziest thing ever. But, you know, God love you. You're willing to sit there and take this abuse. But don't you think in the end they're going to, like, just well, vote him out. I'll tell you what it is. I understand where after Gary, all of this bull crap. I understand where Gary's coming from. On the one hand, you want to just go, you know, for Christ's who sake, needs who needs this? Yeah, right. I, goodbye. But you don't, you know, this woman who started in with the trouble. Someone needs to stand up to her because, quite frankly, she is a bully. She is the bully. She says, "I'm being bullied." No, she's not. She's not being bullied at We're all. We're not. We didn't know anything about right. her. She is a bully. She went in there like a a, a bovan. And started in with this guy with an agenda. She's got something about a, a relative a hundred years ago who was a, a woman suffragette. And she's decided to make a name for herself in this community by going up with Baba Bowie, who's just tr a dad and a guy, a member of the community. He ain't in the mafia. He works for a living. Yeah, he I've works never been, for a I've living. I've never been arrested. Yeah. I don't even have a parking ticket. Right. And the thing is, she is a bully. I know from bullies. She's a bully. She's decided her shit doesn't stink. It's ironic that she's walking around with a bag of shit because she thinks her shit doesn't stink. <laughs> and she's going to make a morality judgment on this guy. That's the bully. Not us. What? Of course we're going to talk about it. There's a producer on my show, and there's a woman sitting there t saying terrible things about him, about me. Well, that's and that's what. The, and the show has nothing. And the show has nothing to do with whether you're on the uh, on the board or not. And some of the people were sort of like, whether this conversation that's going on now, they don't care. One, they don't care about the show one way or another. No, bullshit. They're just not looking for this conversation. Bullshit. But I don't believe that. You, they can't find a person to volunteer for this board. None of them are qualified in the way they're looking for someone. They don't have those qualifications. Not all of them. Uh, all of them. They don't have. No, no, not, no, no, not right. one person. They all has have everyone. a certain area. Right. Same as you. You were coach. You know about the baseball fields. Big fucking deal. You, you're carrying on on this this unimportant fucking position. They need someone to fill a chair, and you're willing to do it. The guy's willing to do it. How many people in your community are willing to volunteer to do anything? I know I'm not. Ah, I wouldn't even spend two minutes on it. I'm so goddamn busy. I'm learning that Apple computer and Photoshop and a Nikon camera. I'm not giving up five minutes of my life for, for the community. But this guy's willing to do it. God love him. He's ten times better man than I am. He really is. Best father I've ever seen. Hands down. Boom. Great guy. Connected to the community into it, helps these boys out with the baseball. I mean, who the fuck gives a shit? He slept in a submarine. I guarantee you, no, <laughs> I guarantee you nobody does that. Nobody. They, people, people don't volunteer their time. It's like these assholes who are against the abortions. Every minute with the abortions, the abortions, the abortions. They don't adopt one of these kids. They're all full of shit. They're hypocrites. One thing, you're against abortion and you start adopting babies, God bless you. I'll, I'll respect you. These are people, they tell them busy, shouldn't be any abortions. They, they leave wanna... you with the baby. What are we going to do with all these babies that are unwanted? <laughs> what, are you, what are you kidding me? It's the same bunch of horse shit. Anyway, I, I'm sorry you're going through that. Thank you. Drives well, I think now he has to stay in it and just not let them, you know, let them have to actually vote him out. Right. Well, yeah, to get back to Ronnie's point, I, I, I'm saying, like, that now at this point he's gone so far, if he, if he resigns, that woman goes, you see, I won. Right. Mm.
But again, I don't think that the 12 people last night are represent. They, they're supposed to represent the 230 people, but I don't mm. necessarily think they do from what I'm being told. There was a great movie about what Gary's going through right now. It was called Caddyshack. Remember, Ted Knight is the head of the country club. Right. And he's trying to keep out Rodney Dangerfield. And this is what it reminds me of. You know, you know, it's like uh, uh, you can't be a member of the golf club. You know, you don't fit in. You don't. You, you, You're you not know. one of us. Yeah. She's a snob and she doesn't know you. And she's got some goddamn nerves calling uh, us bullies. She's the bully. She's bullying you, pal. By the way, you know who's no help at all? Who? Steve Ooh. Langford. Well, he, by the way, <laughs> you know none of this would have occurred if it wasn't for Steve Langford. <laughs> He's making all of this possible. Yeah. I, I, will I will tell you that as I was walking out the door last night, I saw Langford get into the elevator, and I heard Langford yell, Don't push me. I have every right to be here. <laughs> so I don't know what. Who knows? You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> Yeah, he's who knows amazing. what he's doing? He's yeah, he's amazing. not helping the situation. I'm sitting there being grilled, right. and he's he's got a microphone right up to my mouth. Right. Well, first of all, you know, this woman would never hear anything. But, Steve's but, busy reporting it. But, but you know what? I, I, I want to point out that that's just not the truth. About, Steve being there got it to us quicker. Mm -hmm. There was an article in the newspaper the next day. A, a fan would have sent it in, and you would have read it. Right. You would have read all the comments. It wouldn't have been any different. Right. All right, Gary. Uh, that's good. Uh, Ronnie, what were we talking to you about? Twitter. Oh, Twitter. Twitter and... Oh, yeah, but you cut. Hey, so you, you said on the wrap up show you implied anyway that there was some fingering going on with a relative. Right. And then uh, also you fucked. I never knew this story. You fucked your mother's mahjong. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the name. No, I didn't fuck her. Oh, she, she gave you a handjob. She gave me a handjob, yeah. and I fingered her. Wow. And why did you never. The, the, my question was after hearing the story, why did you never go back again and, and like, fuck her or do stuff with her? Well, like, I don't know. It was like. Well, she was married, of course, right. you know, and, Who cares? and it never happened again, and they, like, moved away. <laughs> and then, like, years later, I ran into her in another neighborhood. When I moved into my neighborhood, yeah. you know, after I got married and shit, and uh, I ran into her in the supermarket. Right. And, you know, it was, hi, how are you? And uh, that, that was, was it. it. Yeah, that was it. So you you acted like nothing Never happened. saw her again. That was definitely summer 42. You were 16 years old. Wow. Yeah, I was 16. It literally might have been 1942. <laughs> yeah. <this> guy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but, but seriously, you were 16 years old. Was yeah. the woman decent looking? Nah, not really. Not really. Was She's she fat? In between. Yeah. You know. But what the hell, when you're 16 and your dick's hard. And, and the, the weird part, too, she was a lot younger than, like, the women that my mother hung out with. Right. You know, they played Mahjong. Uh, this woman was, like, 35, and she had no life, so, right. you know, yeah, you she was playing fucking Mahjong, you know? <laughs> and then when you, when you and wear And she those... had nobody to watch her kids, so... And when, and when Ronnie wears those tight shirts and stuff, fucking women go crazy. Well, oh, yeah. you know... And it... there was no Mambo back then, either. Ronnie right. It was Old Spice. Gotten something for babysitting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was... Hey! So, like, how's it go down? Like, she, like, takes your pants off and, like... Pulls... No, it was really weird, because she came home from the Mahjong game, and I was sitting there watching TV, and I'm sitting on the couch. Yeah. And, and she comes in, and she sat down. We start talking. And I go, yeah, how was the Marjorie game? You know, and all this kind of bullshit. And, like, it just, it was, like, general bullshit. And all Can this... he say something besides bullshit? He curses a lot. Well, it was. It was general talk, okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah, by the way, pretend we're on terrestrial radio. You okay. might sound a little more right. intelligent. It was, it was gen general talking. Right. We're just right. talking about, I don't know, maybe the TV show. I don't remember exactly <laughs> how it went down. <laughs> Uh, hey, that howdy doody, he's great. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, and I'm, we were just sitting there, and then all of a sudden, like, I don't know, she was sitting real close, and I put, like, I, I you know, she was, like, right up against me, so I, like, kind of, like, leaned in. Uh huh. To see what would happen. Yeah. And then we started making out, and the next thing I know, we're laying on the couch, and we're, like, grinding on the couch and shit. Wow. You know. And one thing led to another. I would have loved that, that. that. Would you have been able to make a move like that at 16? Probably not. Yeah, but, he, he yeah, but it, was, it, was, it was so obvious, though. Even if the woman, if a, a, one of your mother's friends sat close to you on the couch. Who cares? My mother's friend. Who cares? I'm asking Howard. I would have loved that. My, my mom, most of her friends were pegs, but uh, <laughs> she had a couple of friends who I thought were kind of hot. Yeah. And now, if they had come now that I think you. about it, though, this, she could, you know, it's like you hear about all the stuff in the newspaper about these school teachers. Yeah, or, yeah. You're I mean, one she of could, those. she could have went to jail. Right. Basically. Yeah, you're underage. Yeah. You're one of those kids. No, it was weird. You were, I uh, was jailed. But hey, I was thrilled, man. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not turning her you in. You didn't turn her in. Who? Did, you never told one of your friends. Never told. Well, yeah, I told my friends. <laughs> you were never uh, told my mother though. <laughs> you were underage. You are. Uh, if yeah. she's listening now, she knows, wherever she is. I wonder you know. if she did that with any other kids. I don't know.
So then she, you start making out, and then like she, she grabs your dick and jerks it off. No, huh? no, no. Then and then we started making out, and we were sitting up like, and then now we're laying like across the couch, you know, yeah. like real close to each other. You know, I mean, you're on a couch. <laughs> right. You got to be close, you know. And then she got a hand. She stuck a hand down my pants, and I stuck my hand down her pants, and. Uh... <laughs> And had you had sex with others? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. He's very advanced. Yeah. Yeah, my first girlfriend was at 13. And you had sex with your first girlfriend? Well, we, did, we, didn't, we didn't go all the way, but, you know, I got, you know, jerked yeah. off. And at 13? I fingered, she used to come home from school, you know. Uh -huh. She went to Catholic school. Uh -huh. And uh, I'd meet her at the bus stop. And then we'd go to my house because my parents worked, and they didn't come home till like seven o'clock at night. Yeah. And then uh, I'd I'd meet her, and we'd go to my you know go up to my house, <laughs> and we'd hang out all afternoon in my bedroom. Imagine and... hanging out all afternoon with him. Oh my god. Yeah. And then and then she she was like her parents were like real strict Catholics. Yeah. And like her parents didn't want her near me because I was Jewish. Okay. Right. So it was one of those kind of deals. You sure it was because you were Jewish? <laughs> no, no, that's that was the I only. I think that was one of many yeah. things. So, uh, <laughs> so one day, one day I'm standing, I'm standing at the bus stop waiting at the bus stop to go to school. Yeah. And this, I know, you know, I, I think her, Lonnie thinks it's because he was Jewish. <laughs> mm. Yeah, go I, ahead, I yeah. knew her father's car, you yeah. know, because I, I actually what happened one time, I was up in her house, and she didn't expect her, anybody to come home. And somebody came home. <laughs> her, her mother came home. Uh -huh. And I hid in the closet. <laughs> no, no lie. I hid in the closet until her mother went in the bathroom. <laughs> and then she snuck me out of the house. Wow. 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 So, you are a movie. So then, <laughs> so then, like, what happened was one day. You're I'm like Ferris Bueller. I'm, sta I'm, I'm standing you. at the bus stop. And this car, the car pulls up. And I knew it was her father. Guy was like six foot four. Big <laughs> Irish guy. Comes out and he comes over to me. And he, he just points his finger in my face and he says, I don't want you anywhere near my daughter ever. Stay away from her. Right. And I just looked at him and I said, okay. And that was it. And then we just keep meet, kept meeting secretly and, right. uh, you know. Whatever. Wow. We. Yeah, it was cool. She was cool. So what happened? Why'd you break up with her? It sounds like she was doing it. Well, no. Right. Then she, Here's the funny part. Then she moved away. Right. Okay, she Everybody mo moves away from <laughs> She moved up to the, like the Frankenstein monster. She, she moved up to the Bronx. Right. And up in, like, the upper Bronx, and, like, when I was around 18, 17, 18, when I got my driver's license, all of a sudden, one day, one of her friends told me, so-and-so wants you to call her. Here's her number. Some girl that still lived in the neighborhood. Uh -huh. right. So I called her. Well, you must be good in the sack. And I used to go up there. I used to, for I used to go up there. I used to cut school. This was, like, in my senior year in high school. Uh -huh. I used to cut school and go up and meet her at her house yeah. while her parents were working. You know, when we'd, we'd get it on. And, no kidding. Uh, you know. Look at you. But then I never saw her again after that. I saw her, like, a couple of times, and then... Well, you know, one thing, you never gone. had any trouble getting laid, huh? No. Huh? No. No. Maybe yeah. you should write a book. Maybe. How to get girls. Maybe. First, you sit next to them. Then, like, you put on the mambo. Dude, that was weird, though. And then was... you shoved the finger in their pussies. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A lot of weird shit, man. Man, I wish I had pictures of that woman. I got other stories, but I can't. I can't. Oh, what do you mean? I can't, I, 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 I can't go into them. How come? I can't. You mean some of the ones I know? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I know some good ones about him. Oh, jeez. <laughs> And he knows good ones about me, so. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't betray him, you don't betray me. <laughs> you got that brotherhood going. Yeah, we keep that shit quiet. Yeah. But, you know, you sit in that car long enough, all the truth comes out. By the way, right. the other day when you were saying something about your chili and how it makes you fart, right. Ronnie agreed. I was sitting in the... He's full of shit. I haven't <laughs> farted once. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you never yeah. fart in the car. Yeah, okay. I didn't fart once yesterday. Not yes. I didn't say oh, yesterday. Okay. You just said that chili makes you fart up a storm, and nah. Ronnie goes, yes, it does. He's full of shit. He acts like he, he has this whole thing about me that I'm busy farting back there. And what? Clipping my nails. Dude, dude he, he, he t used to tell me, all right, putting the window down, <laughs> you better hold your breath. Well, that was years ago when I overate. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> all right, Ronnie's on Twitter now, so go follow him. But, I was in but my you, you had to see him yesterday, though, really? with his computers. He was uh, out of his mind. What do you mean? He's coming. He came down to the car. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he had just got, he got all his new computer stuff. Yes. He comes down to the car with all these cords, <laughs> and he's re rebuilding the whole back of the car. I back was ripping there. the car back. <laughs> he was ripping all these wires out. Really? <laughs> oh my God! What was going on back then? Hey, I was going to ask you to do it. I do things myself. No, I fixed so, it up for you. Yeah, all right. Wait
a nice, minute. You nice got and neat now. wires in the car? You Well, you for my laptop, I, I need power back there because uh, sometimes with laptops, although they say the Apple ones, they last a long they time. They last, uh, they have a good battery. But, like, sometimes I'll be running around all day and I'm low on power, so mm -hmm. I can power up back there. Yeah, we have a laptop. I have a converter in there, like house, you know, house right. power that yeah. you can plug in. Yeah. So I bought an extra, you know, 79 bucks Apple charges just for a, um, a power cord? Really? Well, they got bucks. you. Well, that's what they get you on the accessories. Yeah, because yeah. they you can't go anywhere else. And you got to you got to see this thing because I guarantee eventually he's going to break it somehow. Right. It's the connect the thing that connects into the computer is so delicate looking. Oh, it, yeah. It's it's, it's got to break eventually. You think? I mean, the one you had before for the other computer that was like real heavy duty shit. Hey, well, don't start telling me Apple's no good. I didn't say it was no good because uh, I just I just There's trashed nothing the, else. I just <laughs> trashed all my equipment. He just rebuilt the whole car back then. But uh, what what? What lines were you running back there? Oh man, I I, I was running cord, and I was you know what that is? I'm what? so insane and impatient that once I switch stuff over, and I bought a lot of equipment, so it's going to take a while to switch over. I want it done fucking now. I start. I took. Why out, can't it be now? I'm taking out the old cords. I'm putting a new cord. He saw me back there. I was going berserk. Yeah, and he's, then he's got the old cords, and they're all tangled, and they're laying on the floor. I was he goes, insane. I'm late. I got to go to this appointment. I'll fix it later. And it's, I open the Leave door. It alone. Wait, he gets out of the car, and I go back and. It's all laying there like, like spaghetti. a big, big pile well, of spaghetti. I had to leave. I was late for an appointment. <laughs> but I fixed it all up. I rolled right. it all up. Yeah, you did a good job. Up. Yeah, it's all, yeah. all fixed up. But all right, might later. as well. Right, either, you're, either you're going to tweet or you're going to wrap cord. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, thanks. All right, later. Yeah, I was on fire buying new computer equipment. Why oh. did you just... I don't understand. All of a sudden... You when, had when I to decide, have Apple. Once I make a decision, it's got to happen today. You've been a PC guy for... 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter. It's over. It's over with you and the and I said, Yeah. So I took all my computers. I pushed them off the desk. <laughs> I went over to that Apple store. I bought a couple of computers. You're not even leaving one laptop there for backup. Backup schmack up. <laughs> and then uh, I was generally pleased. It was very easy to set up the stuff, mm -hmm. which as everyone always claims. And uh, the, the problem is getting used to a new setup, you know. Right. The simplest task I can't figure out. And I keep thinking I'm going to go over to this Apple store and stay, take a class, and I never do. Oh, you, you've got an Apple, right? I No, I have the, la, the no. iPad, and I was just, you know, and they say once you learn one Apple product, they all work the same. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, but I'm, I'm new to it. But I might take some of those classes myself, but <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Sit there and take a class? I know. i got to sign up. Yeah. And they go, you can get on your computer and sign up for a class. Right. I'm like, great, that'll be easy. <laughs> I need an Apple tutor. So anyway, I um, so I was on fire, man. I'm hooking everything up. I have to have it done. Fire! Let's get going. Come on, man. But I can't figure out the simplest thing how to do it. I mean, like, it's uh, it's it's a it's a new way of doing things, and I don't even like working with them. That was Matt, the mouse, and it annoys my wrist and. You know, I, I'm all, I'm all, now I'm angry. <laughs> Everything makes me angry. Everything makes me nuts. Anything new makes me crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so like I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm like, Rrr, you know, I'm like. Now a, you can't Rrr. sleep. Because yeah, right. I can't sleep. And I go, I don't know. This is, keyboard is smaller. <laughs> now I got to use a mouse. I used to have this Yeah, thing. How, how is the keyboard? Keyboard's fine. It's small. You know, it, it's, it's, it's great because why I like it, and you would like this, I think. How, how I have heavy a monitor, is it, number I'm one? I'm going to tell you, I have a okay. monitor on my desk. Mm-hmm. And the monitor is up off the desk. Yeah. And then the keyboard and the mouse are Bluetooth. They're not connected to anything. Right, okay. I can walk over there and With work. your keyboard. That's right. And when I want to work on my desk, I just move the keyboard off the desk, and I've got all this space now instead of, uh, you know, everything being clogged up in front of me. Well, I did have Love a it. wireless keyboard oh. with a PC, okay. and I could walk anywhere. Oh, you like that? Yeah. 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 Oh, I was on a mad tear. Then yesterday I'm setting up my Netflix to come through my television set. Don't ask. I'm on a mad fucking technology. Well, that's not that hard, Howard. That, come no, on. but in the middle of my new Apple, I had to go <laughs> break away. And, and I mean, I was on a technology tear. <laughs> then my phone has been fucked up because it, it, it keeps telling me that um, I have an unsent text message. I couldn't figure that out. I'm working on that. I'm so working on the, the Apple. So you got the new droid. It's giving you messages, Every, well, too? Everything. Every, everything was on fire yesterday. <laughs> Because I'm like, okay, I, I like the BlackBerry. It has its drawbacks. I'm an obsessive maniac. Do Will you understand? I change to the droid? I don't know what you're going to do. I'm, I'm done advising you because I don't want to be blamed. <laughs> I'm out of the Robin advice business. 
My advice to you is don't listen to me. <laughs>